All right, what's good, y'all? It's a good, healthy breed we got going here. We got uh, Lala, daughter of uh, daughter of Andromeda bred to Leo, purebred red boy Jocko bitch. Super good, super smart game bulldog. And then we got uh, another game one. We got Trouble Man. Good dog, solid dog, rough, tough. He took a little beating when I bred him to his little mate sister. She bit the hell out of him. Had to grab an old breeding stand, put on his little mate sister. This breeding was a little more easier to make. Still don't take away from what they what they'll produce. Uh, it's a heavy red boy Jocko breeding. Like I said, red boy Jocko summer. Uh, it got a touch of. Let's see, his daddy got bolio. His mama got a little bit of bolio. So he got a touch of bolio coming from his dad's mom and his mom's mom. See what I'm saying? So he got a touch of bolio, heavy red boy Jocko overall. It's okay to have a little touch of an out. It's double little yellow man on the top coming from Trouble Man. I'm talking about how the breeding would be. Coming from Trouble Man, double little yellow man. So that's a mixture of boomer and thug. Hot whole, hot whole pedigree is nothing but uh, thug and uh, uh, touch of boomer, touch of triple A. Because uh, Thor has the, what they did was they took a double bred daughter, a triple A, bred it to Boomer to get Thor's grandmother, bred, uh, gre bred his grandmother to Thug to get Thor's, mo uh, Thor's mom. And then they bred it back to Thug to get Thor. So anything heavy on Thor going to have a touch of triple A, touch of Boomer. So all in all, these are going to be heavy Boomer, Thug dogs, Thug more than anything else, uh, touch of triple A touch of mayday coming from his mom which bring which is why they have bolio touch of bolio coming from his dad's mom which is why they got bolio again so it's gonna have a slight of an out but heavy red boy jocko nonetheless i look forward to these dogs especially when you do them like this with little 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 small sneaky outs you know but still so heavy where this dog these dogs here is about let's see these dogs here is probably about 80% Red Boy Jocko out of this breeding. You know, she's going to drop a straight 50. He's for sure going to drop a quarter because his he's 50% Little Yellow Man and straight Red Boy Jocko. Uh, so automatically a quarter coming from him, 50 from her, 75% Red Boy Jocko. Um, and then he got the Mayday blood. His uh, grandmother, Mozzie, she has a shit ton of, of uh, Mayday and all kind of Red Boy Jocko in her. So she's damn near what and what. She got more Ribbo Jocko more than likely than Bolio. So I would say that the, that uh, his grandmother is probably more 60, 70% Red Boy Jocko. But I would have to really just look. Oop, let me get this corrected. I would have to really look. But um, I would say these puppies are at a low a low end, 80%. But more than likely, if I did the numbers on Mozzie, more than likely they're going to be they're going to be more around... 85 percent but i'm just saying 80 percent on the low end just to estimate you know 80 percent red boy jocko about 20 to 15 percent uh bolio should be extra nice man nothing wrong with bolio he was a buckskin dog like her uh very good dog produced a, a legacy of bulldogs same with uh her so i'm looking forward to these stock this breeding was very easy to make i uh, i had a hard time i was supposed to be crossing her into the jeep blood doing a, a jeep red boy jocko cross but uh that didn't work out so i decided to go ahead and give it to trouble man bred trouble man three times only one of the litters really st st stuck one didn't take and the other one lost all her puppies uh due some, to some situations so uh now it's his chance to have another litter i said you know let me give a trouble man a try so he'll have another litter these dogs should be hardcore Red Boy Jocko dogs. Good sizes to them, not too big, not too small. Uh, and I just look forward to see what, what the future has in store for Ready Red Kennels and the family. Anyways, man, y'all be easy, y'all stay up. Greetings from Trouble Man and Lala. Hopefully this breeding takes and we'll see how these things go. One. Oh yeah, y'all like this video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, the, the, I'm sure you're gonna see this on Ready Red Global. And if you really support us, go over to Ready Red Kennels, the main channel, and subscribe over there. Y'all stay up. Be easy. Red Boy Jocko for life. One.